Hello everyone, back to tuning into today's third and final video. We're going to have a look at the weather and it's 10 to 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 7th of April and we'll be able to extend out beyond that. We have sent GFS and ECM ensembles, maybe we'll try in a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. That will get us uh, into the uh, second half of April. Well, in the second half of April, I should get us that for you in a moment. Just to say that first. Video sales our 6M UK weather forecast. And we've also re released the European Outlook as well. Please check out those two videos if you'd like to do that. Like, share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. And thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Now, I want to give a shout-out to uh, Darren, uh, Darren Sheehan. So, uh, hello to you, Darren. Thank you so much for uh, dropping that little note thing. A couple of days ago, uh, Darren uh, left a message to uh, tell me that uh, two years ago, he lost his, uh, his, he lost his partner, he lost his hubby, uh, Tony Lang, who was an avid Gareth Weatherby's uh, viewer. And uh, Darren told me, you know, that it's taken two years for him to be able to um, message me and, and tell me how much Tony loved Gareth Weathervids and loved the videos. And on Tony's last day, actually, uh, uh, Darren um, showed him uh, Gareth Weathervids. I don't know what the video was, but uh, on Tony's uh, last day, you know, he, uh, he he shared that moment uh, with with him. Darren and Tony shared that moment together uh, watching Gareth Weathervids. And I know how hard it must have been for you, Darren. I suffered... Uh, very big bereavement in 2022 myself. Different circumstances, of course, but, um, you know, it, it's hard, it's hard, it's hard, it's hard, isn't it? But I hope, you know, that we're able to bring you some uh, comfort and, uh, you know, I hope that when you watch the videos, you're able to um, remember, re re remember, you know, the times that you and Tony uh, spent together. Now, I'm so sorry for your loss, my friend. If there's anything that I could do to uh, make it better for you, I would. It does get easier over time, as I suspect you are, uh, you know, finding out. But uh, it's, it's hard, you know, it, grief is hard. Um, but it was the dear old queen who said that gr uh, grief is the price we pay, uh, we pay for love, you know, and, and, and you just got to go through it. If if you uh, if you love then then um, and then you lose then then you grieve you know so I'm so sorry for your loss but thank you so much for your lovely note my friend it did really touch me you know to uh, to to see that so thank you thank you so much Darren and um, you know we remember we remember Tony we remember Tony I can I think I remember Tony actually the name Tony Lang uh, in the uh, comments and whatnot back in the day so uh, i'm very very sorry for your loss but uh, i'm sure tony is uh, is watching us you know watching the videos watching you as well watching over you and uh, i do believe that you know so thank you so much my friend for uh, for, for for the note that you dropped me uh, dropped to me and and uh, again so sorry for your loss. If there's anything what we could do to make it better, then then we would, but we can't. But we remember Tony, and and, and uh, uh, you are in our thoughts always, Darren. Thank you so much, my friend. Okay, let's start off having a look at the sensory and temperature. Then the CT is currently sitting at eight point two. That is two and a half degrees above sixty one to ninety nine average. That is provisional to yesterday, to the twenty uh, seventh of March. Is that going to stay in the eights now? I wonder whether that might stay at around 8 degrees before Mum's head. I was expecting that to tick down a little bit into the upper 7s, but it might hold up at around 8 Celsius. So we'll see. We'll find out on Monday where that's coming in, although we won't be doing a 10 to 14 day on Monday. So we'll actually find out on Tuesday where that's coming in. Uh, these are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the uh, next couple of weeks. We're going to Nottingham today, red light. <coughs> so, sorry, a pretty red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Nottingham. And you can see that over the uh, next uh, few days, we're hovering around to slightly above average. Bit of a cold snap opening up here again just after Easter through the middle part of the next week. We might pull down some quite cold air for a couple of days. And then also, we've got a bit of a warm up going on from the first week into the second week of April, potentially becoming quite mild then. 
see most of red temperatures lift you up albeit there is a little bit of scatter within that but uh, i think the trend is uh, is very much towards uh turning things milder into the second week of april and precipitation wise well, that doesn't change on and on uh the deluge goes so as we've been saying you know the deluge goes on from start to finish on the ensemble graph lots and lots of precipitation spikes coming through especially just after Easter, around the 1st to 5th of April, that window just there, looking very, very wet on the ensemble graph. But even beyond that, plenty of precipitation spikes still in evidence. Temperature anomalies from the 28th of March to 5th of April, a little bit below average in the north, a little bit above average down in the south, not a particularly big deviation either way. And precipitation anomalies from the 28th of March, 5th of April, they're coming out wetter than average for Ireland, England, Wales, and drier than average for Scotland. Latest wind from that from Earth, no school dot next. So we've got yet another deep area of low pressure just to the southwest of the country. Some very strong winds pushing into the uh, far south as well. So uh, a gale running along the south coast in the course of the, this afternoon and into this evening. Now there's more areas of low pressure, you know, out in the Atlantic, so further unsettled conditions can be expected. <coughs> So sorry everyone. Right, let's start going with chart data. Then gonna start off with UK Met Euro run for uh, midnight on on Sunday. They said Monday, midnight Sunday, Easter Sunday. No pressure, just to our uh, west. Um, very slack gradients. But as we go through into bank holiday Monday, that low pressure starts edging its way uh, northwards, and then through the course of next week, low pressure increasingly heading in from off the Atlantic bringing uh, spells of rain in with it. It's looking quite unsettled as we go through the middle part of uh, next week with low pressure being further wet weather at times. will be quite chilly on the northern side of these areas of low pressure, so there might be a little snow in the northern half of the country. But the main thing about next week, I think, is that it's turning uh, wetter. So Icon is looking, again, we've got low pressure to our south meandering around as we go into the Easter period. And then through next week, this low pressure comes sweeping in, bringing lots of heavy rain in with it. Easter might not be quite as unsettled, though, as we have been thinking. The, the wettest weather might hold off until just after Easter. A lot of uncertainty about Easter Monday, though. Uh, and then through next week, the low pressure just keeps on coming, bringing further that's rain in with it. Got a southwesterly wind poised to start pushing northwards when we get through to midday on Thursday there. Uh, that'd be more chalet, of course. Uh, this is how the KMA is looking. So, again, it's all low pressure through the uh, Easter period. Perhaps a bit more unsettled on Easter Monday. And then into the middle of next week, well, the low pressure areas keep on coming with further bouts of rain. In with them. Not much of a southwest, I have to say, with the KMA. A little bit of a southwest influence there around the 7th of April, but uh, very quickly that gets flattened off as this next low comes in over the top and just keeps those unsettled conditions going. Uh, the GFS midnight run again with low pressure to our west and bring up like a, sl a slack southerly flow on, <coughs> on Sunday. <coughs> so sorry once again, everybody. And then low pressure increasingly moving in off the Atlantic, bringing spells of rain in with it through the course of next week. Looking very unsettled with those areas of low pressure. Despite having quite a lot of northern blocking around Greenland, um, we actually stay on the mild side of the areas of low pressure and just keep relatively mild-ish, but also very unsettled. Um, there's no sign of a break with these areas of low pressure with the GFS midnight run. On and on and on it goes. Um, it gets us the 13th of April and, and well, it speaks itself, doesn't it? Low pressure is still anchor bear over the top of the coach. So up to the middle of April, the GFS uh, midnight run seeing no break in the unsettled weather. This is our GFS 6 uh, is looking once again. Possibly uh, unsettled on Easter Monday. Very, you know, big question mark about this low for Easter Monday. Will that bring a washout to England and Wales? There's a lot of chopping and changing going on within my output. Whatever happens on Easter Monday through the middle of next week, low pressure keeps on punching through, bringing further bouts of rain in with it. That's the scenario at day 10, to 7th of April. Again, low pressure bring a moisture laden sort of west southwest it is and uh, heavy rain in with it and then beyond that you know we get to uh, beyond day 10 still with low pressure 
right over the top of the country, so further bouts of rain to come. There's no sign of an end to this till we get to uh, we get to as far as the 13th of April. And still, low pressure, low pressure, low pressure. Uh, the GFS is not interested in breaking us out of uh, these unsettled conditions up to the middle of April. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this. And all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Weather. It's we thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. We only need to put on around 35 subscribers to get ourselves to 18.1k. So if you could give us a sub and tell your friends and family to, to, to subscribe, that would be amazing. It would be incredible. And we will thank you so much for doing that. GM, again, with uh, low pressure to our west on Sunday, bringing up this sort of slack southerly flow. Possibly some very wet weather into the south on bank holiday Monday. Uh, more low pressure punching through during the middle part of next week with further bouts of rain come as well. And up to day 10, well, we're between low pressures at day 10. So one low has gone away to the east, one low is out to the west. We're actually a little bit drier there by the 7th of April. Quite cold with winds in from the north. But this area of low pressure is poised to probably bring a milder push from southwest, but also bring further rain with it. And then uh, the uh, ECM looks like that. So a bit further south was with below on uh, Bank Holiday Monday. So below the rain possibly holding off on Bank Holiday Monday there. Um, touch and go. But anyway, by the middle of next week, we're looking very wet with further low pressure punching through. Um, winds turning to the southwest, so just a bit milder by the end of next week, but will still be unsettled and further low pressure low pressures on their way, keeping the wet weather going. This is the precipitation forecast based on the East Chevron from Tometro.com. So very showery for the rest of today and tomorrow. Some rain just clipping into far southeast corner there. Uh when we get through into Saturday. This is Easter Sunday. A few showers in the west, dry above elsewhere. That's back probably Monday. So uh, we have got heavy showers breaking out there. Probably longer spells of rain as well. So we could still end up with a bit of a washout on Bank Holiday Monday, a lot of uncertainty with that. And further low pressure piling in from off the Atlantic through the middle part of next week. More wet weather come, even some snow over the uh, Welsh mountains there. And beyond that, we uh, move out towards um, the, the last part of the next week, middle last part of the next week. Uh, heavy rain in the south, some snow there for uh, Northern England, Scott, bit of snow event going on. Then we turn back to rain as it turns milder, but still lots of rain piling in. Fundamentally, no sign of an end to the deluge. These are the options on the table. Within the ECM Ensemble's day four, day 10, gets us to the 7th of April from the Icelandic Met Office. 19 members of the ECM Ensemble's with deep low pressure in the Atlantic and coming in to Western Europe. So, obviously, that's unsettled. 18, including the control and the operational run. Also looking unsettled, winds in off the Atlantic. And 14, with low pressure in from the Atlantic. High pressure down towards France, so And uh, winds are sort of flat and westerly. So, they all look unsettled. This obviously brings a little bit of drier weather into the south. But both, both the other options, and this one even, you know, as well, the 14 there, all look unsettled at uh, day 10. And then this is the option in two weeks' time. Look away now. If you want dry weather, this gets us to the 12th of April. 51 out of 51 members of the East Jam Ensembles keep this remarkable spell of unsettled weather going. No sign of an end up to the uh, up to the 12th of April with the East Jam Ensembles. And even beyond that, with the GFS Ensembles finally set for to be two. You can stand anymore. If it's a 500 mm bar high size broken down. And to week period, so the first week period takes us from the 28th of March to the 3rd of April. But next week, it's going to be very unsettled with low pressure from the Atlantic into Western Europe. Week 2 will be the 4th to the 10th of April. Low pressure still comes in of the Atlantic into West Europe. That keeps the unsettled weather going for another week. Week 3 <laughs> will be the 11th to the 17th of April. So, still low pressure in the Atlantic, possibly signs of some higher pressure um, building to the South East. But I think overall, we probably still keep the low pressure influence going there up to the end of the third week. By week 4, maybe a change. This is the 18th to the 24th of February 
Higher pressure end, possibly just starting to get closer to us from the east. But lower pressure beginning to weaken in the Atlantic. Does still be a little bit on the unsettled side. But I think the overall trend is probably towards something a bit drier. Quite warm as well, but uh, most importantly, a bit drier. Um, maybe into the second half of April. It does all look a little bit flimsy, I have to say. And it's like four weeks away, so obviously subject to change. But possibly a hint that second half of April turns dry. But before then, up to the middle of April, it looks like we remain under the cosh. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Why not drop a comment and say what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell friends about guys. Well, obviously, thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. I'll just tell you what's happening on the channel tomorrow. We're going to have a 6 m UK weather forecast. We've got Jeremy Friday at 10 to 14 there and the ECM WF 42 day forecast, which is normally released for IMW UK, which is normally released on a Saturday morning, will be released um, tomorrow evening. Reason for that is that on Saturday morning, we've got the first summer 2024 seasonal model roundup. Uh, so that's the plan for tomorrow. Tomorrow's videos might be a little bit later on in the afternoon. So. Jamie Friday, 10 to 14 day. I might turn up after 2 o'clock because I'm going to be listening to some rock and roll tomorrow morning. Um, Bernie, Bernie Keith is doing four hours of uh, rock and roll. And uh, my mum, Mrs. P, used to love, love, love uh, his uh, rock and roll show. Uh, Bernie Keith is a presenter on Radio Northampton. But back in the day, um, that used to go out across the Eastern County. So I'm sure quite a few of you probably uh, in the East anyway. Uh, of, uh, I've heard of Birdie and, uh, and and Rock and Roll Heaven. Anyway, it got cancelled last year in September, but he's doing a one-off show tomorrow from 10 till 2. So I shall be listening to that, I think, and remembering my lovely mum and bring back some memories. So I'll probably do Jeremy Friday the 10 to 14 day uh, a little bit later on in the afternoon. It is good Friday after, after all, you know, so, so I think we'd be a little bit more relaxed tomorrow. Uh, but anyway, I shall see you uh, tomorrow for those videos. You enjoy the rest of your Thursday. And uh, for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.